Team Rob versus Team Emma. The size of this kitchen is, is massive. There's 26 people working here today for lunch. Food is untrue, it's all freshly produced, it's all they've got. There's enough garlic down there for half of France to live on for a year. Downstairs in the kitchen below, and a little birdie's just come and told me that he's done three courses. Well, I've only done one because I just figured that you know they can just eat one, and it has nothing to do with the fact that I can't cook. And it's like a tagatelli, and that's what I'm going with. Heat up the sauce, throw in some tomatoes, basil, garlic, mix it all together, do the pasta in the hot water, and pour it on in. Happy days. Um, Emma is making some pasta thing upstairs. Um, I, I'm going to be making with the head chef, and he's he's quite a hard guy. He's like a head chef. He's, he's exactly as you'd imagine a head chef to be. Um, so I'm making uh, like a salad to start, um, Indian salad. We do some stuff with some lemons, um, and then uh, as a main, we're doing like a butter chicken butter masala. Uh, we do some rice. Um, I'm going to make a tandoori bread or an arm bread um, in the proper tandoor oven, which they've got here with Carl's and Bobby. It's so hot, it's frightening. This guy needs to get in the fridge. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. This is the oil in the pan. I'm cooking the oil. Ah! Jump shack out in a pan, no styly. Jump shack out and I move your body. Tomato, tagatelli. You made tomato, so you've warmed up some sauce. And you put it in the pan. No, there. I made the sauce from scratch. Mm. Look at what I have to deal with. I'm working downstairs with the proper people, are not the uh, microwavables. Cheers. Why is it microwavable? Why well, now? Go to my kitchen. I'm having a stroppy, chefy moment. Out of my chef mentors ran off and left me. Uh, how, how do we do it? It's hot up here, isn't it? Yeah, 42 degrees in your kitchen area. Downstairs, I hit 52. Oh my god, well done. Uh, knackered. Um, what have I done? Um, I've done. Um, a chicken tikka masala, done some chimichanga things, but they're really rushed up over the right, which has got like chicken in it, some cheese in it, some coriander, so I'm actually going to try some of that myself in a bit. And I've done like an Indian salad, as you do. Um, I did tomato and basil and garlic tagging. Tomato, 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 Right, well I found some people that loved my pasta and are going to vote Team Emma, including little one down <laughs> Loved it. See? It's nearly all gone. I have a vote. Yay! I love it. Can you just make sure that my name is circled a lot? Thank you. Bless you. Have a, have a lovely afternoon. This lady here was disappointed with the curry. You know, I've had that conversation and I've told my mum never to come to these things ever again. <laughs> and she won't, and it's one on now, it's fine. But she likes, did repeat? The samosas are lovely. Samo really? Shimmy Changes! Sorry, Shimmy She doesn't even know what they are! Um, but they, the were not they were lovely. They were lovely. Does it make up for that? Yeah, very. There's three questions on each sheet. One that says, who has prepared the tastiest food? Who looked the most efficient at cooking in the open kitchen? Who presented their food in the best way? So this one is 2-1 to Rob. This <laughs> Jump shack out and I move your body As we dance for the rhythm, I'm right Everybody that I'm feeling the fun Well, we have counted up the votes yeah. And Rob, it seems you are today's champion With a massive 25 votes for Rob and 15 votes for me I mean, it's 
it's difficult when, when you're as good as I am, but, um, but I'd like to say congratulations to Emma, she, uh, she turned up. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I've only won all the rest of the challenges that we did, bar the swimming challenge, so, so actually, it issue. was only fair that... Don't shake out in a brand new style, don't shake out and I move your body.